there. You join us in the beautiful River Diva, here running through the middle of Diva Springs. Neil uh, is giving us permission to come and have a bit of a play for Mayfly time. Um, it's that time of year known as Duffer's Fortnight where the Mayflies come out and hopefully so do the big trout. So join us and see how we get on. We're going to target a few of these big fish and see if we can come up trumps. So here we are in the middle of Mayfly time. Now predominantly we're going to be looking at the flies like this. Um, this is the latest fly from Fulling Mill. It's one of our Oliver Edwards ones from his Masterclass collection. This is Mohican Mayfly, for obvious reasons, because it's got a Mohican. Foam body, um, floats really high, got a parachute hackle on it as well, so it sits in the water beautifully, always drops down nicely and de delicately. Um, French partridge, doesn't look a great deal like a Mayfly, but a very, very successful fly. Um, the obligatory wolves, um, a pattern that I think most people have in their fly boxes in one form or another. Um, plus, just because it's mayfly time, we're not going to neglect the other flies. There's lots of caddies coming off at the moment, so just some small, small caddies patterns. And um, these are part, again, part of the new tactical series. So these are tied on barbers hooks, which is perfect for catch and release. As you can see, they're really nice sharp point on that. Um, little caddies patterns. There's quite a lot of blue winged olives coming off at the moment as well. Um, uh, there's a few damsels. Uh, we've also got uh, some daddy long legs around as well. Um, but hopefully we're, we're waiting on these fish to really hone in on these mayflies. And there we go. Beautiful brown trout. Lovely full fins, that's the sort of thing we come to expect at Mayfly time. Fantastic rise, perfect on uh, one of the new Fulling Mill Oliver Edwards patterns, the Mohican Mayfly. Sits beautifully in the water, looks as good as the real thing. And this one certainly thought so, so let's just slip it back. And let's see if we can get ourselves another one. As another fish just rises behind me, I'm just going to quickly talk you through some of the tackle we're using today. So you've seen the flies. So, fairly simple approach, 9 foot 5x, which is equivalent of about 4 and 3 quarters. In this case, I'm using Orvis Super Strong. It's a copolymer material, so it sits nice and high up in the water. The rod is the new XF2 Streamflex Plus from Grays. It's a 9.5 foot for a 3 weight. It's got a 6 inch extension handle, which comes out from the bottom of the rod here, just by simply unscrewing that, and you can put that section in. Very clever, a really nice, delicate presentation, but gives me the extra length for the reach and control of the line when we're presenting. So. While these fish are rising, let's get back to it. JT, don't you think the Mays are late this year? I think, I think they have been very late. I mean, the, certainly the last couple of years we've had um, particularly good, there's another fish just risen there, particularly good hatches of May, um, really early on in May, and it, even into April, so. Um, yeah. I mean, here we are, first first week of June now, and, and yes, they're coming off, but they're, they're not really coming off in the in the, the quantity that we would we'd be expecting now. Possibly spend up to time-wise while you're waiting to, to make a cast at a fish. Yeah, I mean that's that's, that's an interesting question. Um, you know, time time has a different meaning when you're, you're watching a fish. I think you know you could uh, you could be there e easily for half an hour, maybe maybe even an hour, just just watching the fish, picking the right moments to chuck the fly over the top of him. You know. Um, 
very often when, when the mayflies are coming thick and fast you'll see the fish taking flies in a sequence and you could you almost have to pick the right moment to pitch your fly you know it might be every third you get a fish that take that's taking every third fly that's going over the top of them so you know it's uh, and, and you want you want your fly to be that that third fly and also very important to see quite you know what what type of flies he's responding to is is it the ones that are very active um, is is it the flies that are you know to, are struggling to get out the surface of the water so, so I mean all of, all of those factors help you with your fly choice there we have it beautiful brownie taken on a little uh, high vis paradon little olive pattern There's a few mayflies coming off but they haven't really honed in on them yet so just had to adapt and put a little olive on and that's a fantastic result lovely head and tail rise I'm pretty pleased.